Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. So I am finally here with this highly requested natural skincare routine. Um, so the first thing that I like to do is I like to remove my eyelashes and then I like to go in with a cotton round and a little bit of almond oil. So I like using almond oil because it's less heavier than coconut oil um, and of course it has all type of benefits for your skin. It has lightening properties and moisturizing properties but it does not make your face oily and greasy and you won't have to worry about getting clogged pores from this. So all I do is take a little and put it on a cotton round and remove most of my makeup um, using the cotton round before I go in with my Spin For Perfect brush from the Vanity Planet and my face wash. So the Spin For Perfect brush I've been using for a while now, maybe over a year, and it comes with multiple attachments. Um, I like to use the daily cleansing attachment because it's not as harsh as the exfoliating one. It also has a pumice stone and a bigger one for body. But I just go ahead and I wet my face first to get rid of a little bit of the oil and a little bit of the excess makeup. And then I just go in with my DIY um, facial cleanser. And this is just African black soap, pilocrisum oil, um, frankincense oil, uh, rose hip oil and a little bit of glycerin and vitamin E. So I like to go over my face first with it because sometimes the Spin For Perfect brush can go a little bit crazy. So I like to lather it on my face first and then I just go in with the wet daily cleansing attachment on my Spin For Perfect brush. And I do this for about a minute, maybe two, until I feel like my face is squeaky clean. And then once I am done, I just go ahead and I take cold water and I rinse off all of the excess suds and bubbles. And then what I really, really like that I've been doing lately is I do not use a face towel. I use a paper towel because it is disposable and you don't have to worry about constantly wiping your face with a face towel that you may have used for a few days that may have bacteria or old dirt built up on it. Just go ahead and toss this paper towel into the trash until next time when you get a fresh one. And then for toner, what I've been doing lately, um, as you can see, I'm, I'm running out, but this is just um, apple cider vinegar. It's the Bragg's apple cider vinegar with the mother in it. So it is one third apple cider vinegar and two thirds water. And I just put a bunch of cotton rounds into it, shake it up a bit and let it sit until I run out. I go through them pretty quick, but this step right here has been a game changer. Uh, it does smell like feet, but you get used to it after like the second week. Um, and then I just go ahead, I do not rinse that off. I just let it dry and soak into my skin. And then for an under eye treatment, I felt like my under eyes were getting kind of dark. Uh, so I found out that grapeseed oil, it works to get rid of darkness and puffiness. So I've been using this for about two months and I can definitely say that it does work. And the final step is to moisturize. So this is just a DIY moisturizer that I made using the sweet almond oil, aloe vera gel, and shea butter. I'm eventually going to add my essential oils to this mix, but I didn't do it this time. But almond oil is great for all skin types. Not only is it good to remove makeup because it helps to clear out your pores and to remove dead skin, but it's also good if you have eczema or psoriasis or just to add a healthy glow to your skin. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one.